kitty, and I'm going to use two chains and a cloth noose. Lindsay, would you mind grabbing just a couple hooks? And I like to put it on like this. There's lots of different ways to make a cat. This is just what works for me, since she's not an unhappy cat. You can do a cat cage, you can do a cat bag. I don't like to do that because I really don't feel like I can get my hands on them enough when I do that, but if it's a safety issue, then definitely I will. So I'm going to put one chain around one leg so it's hooked under her shoulder. And then the last step is a cloth noose around the neck. We're going to tighten this down like so. Make sure it's not something that slips up really easily. And then we'll see how she does. Come on over. <laughs> and because these crates catch little kitty toenail or kitty pads really easy, I'm going to put a towel down. Even though it's going to get sopping wet, that's okay. And those hooks. I know, kitty, thank you. So one here. Thank you. And at this point, you want to keep your hands away from their face because they get angry. I'm going to hook this here. Oh, and this fell off. Okay, so putting this on after the fact is kind of interesting. On the toe. There we go. Okay. I know. I'm going to turn her this way. I just want to make sure that if she decides to fly, that she'll be safe and I'll be safe. So that's what this is all about. So they are also very, very um, aware of sounds. So I'm going to try to make the least amount of hissing noise with the sprayer. I'm going to warm this water up. And would you grab me some Dawn from the back, that green Dawn? You want to have Dawn. That's what I use cats to wash cats. Warm your water up. Never put cold water on a cat and make the sound as small as possible. Thanks, Leslie. I'm going to start back here just to see if she wants to fly. I don't know if I've groomed this kitty before, so I don't remember how she is. Just keep this as close to the skin as possible, with the least amount of noise as possible. Okay, I'm going to do her animals right away. Cats have animal glands too. So same as dogs, make sure you point away, and not much there, just make sure you wash your hands. But you just take your hands right on each side of the anus and, and pull in and squeeze out and aim it away. Okay, so this is a great cat when she's handling this noise, she's handling the water, her ears are up. Nice kitty. So straight Dawn. These cats are greasy. The Dawn might be a little chilly. So if you, can, if, if you have a cat that's really sensitive to thermal temperature of the water, you can actually stick this in a bucket of hot water and it'll warm it up in about 15 minutes if you uh, think that that will help your bathing experience. Hi. Now she still has her ears up and her meow is happy. She's not angry. She's certainly not happy, but she's not angry which is what I use to determine if I'm going to put my hand by the face or not, or ears are up, or tail's not flicking. So I can wash these legs and feel okay about it with my safety level. I can wash under here. Now I don't wash a cat's head until the very last, and I stop right about here on the ears. If their face is really disgusting, I use a washcloth, but um, it's just too hard for the cat to take the water running over their face to rinse them, so that's why I don't. Sorry, kitty. Get a good lather because their skin is greasy. So if you just get this on and then rub it down, it's not enough. You have to actually rub backwards to get a lather. Get around the chain. And if this is this kitty's first bath, what a great cat. Mama wasn't sure if I would be able to do it, so I was a little bit hesitant. Okay, nice and easy. Now, since this kitty's being good, I'm going to do the scary hard areas for cats first, which is around their head. If she wasn't doing good, I would just um, do it as fast as I could, starting from the back and then move to the front. She's doing great. Now, this Dawn is hard to rinse all of it off, so you have to use a lot of time to rinse. Thank <laughs> you. 
of a nice cat. And because she's doing so good, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. You want to feel for anything slimy, and you want to rinse probably one to two minutes longer than you think you need to. Pay special attention to the skin area, armpit area, any of the areas of band, because that's the hardest area to rinse. I've had a lot of customers that try to wash their own cats, and they try to do it too fast, they don't do a good enough rinsing job. Their cat gets a staph infection all over his body from the shampoo that stays in. And then they have a huge problem. So, you know, it's a $200 vet bill and all the pain of the cat to take care of shampoo that's not rinsed out well enough. Okay, we're almost done. Double wash here, she's doing great. Double check those areas. I'm going for anything that's slimy. Everything feels great. And the last check I'm gonna do is just if you can make it squeak or if your finger gets slides right over, that's there's still stuff there. So sometimes you can't make it squeak. There's no bubbles at all. So it's a good indicator. But right down here is where you're gonna have gotten it less than you should have. So double check that. Okay, now I'm gonna take a big fat thick towel. What a nice kitty. Check your ears quick. Your ears look great. Well maybe not. This is just brown Listerine. Start at the tip. Usually for this, they aren't bad. And then you want to get this area here that gets kind of dirty. Now that's making her mad. Sorry. See the change in her meow? She's kind of indignant about that. Sometimes they're stained, sometimes they're dirt. So if you can't get it off, that's okay. This and try to make as little noise as you can. Just keep her stress level down. Okay, we're going to let her kind of walk out of that. <laughs> now, typically, when the cat's done with the bath, you're not in much danger. Yeah, but you never want to assume that they're not going to scratch you because when you go to pick them up, they'll reach for you. So, I usually like to wrap them in the tub first, pick them up by the butt, make sure their hands are nice and um, wrapped in. And then I dry them right here in the towel. I'm gonna to put her in a dryer. I'll comb her out in about an hour and she'll be ready to go. Thank you.